Kurt, back to uh, conference play, obviously, this week, Western Illinois, and that, that important stretch continues for you guys. Yeah, it definitely does. And it's great to come off a win of St. Francis, and we came out and we took care of business just like we wanted to. We're excited to get back into conference play in Western Hill. We know we have, we owe them something from last year, and we definitely want to come out here, and we're playing at home, and it's going to be a great environment, and we're going to look to execute on, on all cylinders. Talk about that discipline last year, revenge factor. I mean, that was one of the more gut-wrenching It losses. was. It was a tough loss, and it was very emotional, just like all the losses were last year. Um, some may say that we, we have got robbed, you know, from the penalty. There was a penalty that we didn't agree with, but... Um, offensively, we had a chance to win the game. We had a third and three, third and four, something like that, and we couldn't get four yards. So this year, we're going to look to get those four yards, take control of the game. How do they look to be different than the team you faced a year ago? Uh, they're similar in the schemes that they do. Defensively, they run the same front and the same linebacking core. core. They have um, they lost uh, their All-American, I think, number 12, Kyle Glazer. Um, but they got another guy to replace and fill his shoes who's – uh, probably just as good as he is. He's, he's a mean, gritty guy. He, he's tough, and we're going to need to get a hat on him. And in order to run the ball, which is what we want to do, we're just going to have to play fundamentally sound and play tough. You mentioned earlier that it was kind of nice maybe to have a little bit of break from conference play. The offense, a lot of folks making an impact on Saturday. Mm -hmm. A pretty confident group overall? Yeah, definitely a confident group. we got a lot of running backs back there, as you guys can see. Um, you know, our four-string running back, Torrin Pace, had 80-something yards. He almost had 100. And, uh, it's great to see all the, all the talent and all the stars that we have in the backfield and, and on the outside. Um, and a game like St. Francis, we really can showcase that talent, and, and I think that's what we did. Um, so we're going to look to do it again. Talk about just, uh, I mean, you guys are running a lot more formations, it seems like, this year offensively. How much more complex is what you guys are doing? Uh, it is more complex than last year. I think last year they really simplified it for me um, and some of the other backs. It was, a, it was the first year under Coach Montgomery, but... He, he really trusts us, and he's given us a lot to handle, and I think we've done a great job of handling it as a unit. Um, up front, it's probably the biggest improvement. You know, we've got all these different run plays, all these formations, and, and everybody's given us different fronts and, and different looks up front with their front sevens. And um, You know, the offensive line is just doing a great job of identifying where they're going and, and their pass sets and things like that, and, and, and they're really taking charge up front. Kurt, they're giving up 35 points so from a defensive standpoint. Has it just been the opponents have been better for them? Like Western Illinois' opponents have been better? I think, you know, I think it's um, a tribute to our conference. We really have great offensive units on our conference, and, and everybody's going to go out and, you know, you may have a shootout every week, but not, not to say defensively that our conference is weak. Uh, we just have, we have great talent. We have great players that, that like to score the ball, and, and we're going to look to do the same thing. Can you talk about the importance of getting off to a good start in some of the games and turned in the losses? That has not happened, so that's kind of been like a, a mojo there. Yeah, I, I think it's important for us to get off in a good start, especially here at home. Um, offensively, once once we're firing on all cylinders, we feel like we can't be stopped, and, and I believe in that. Um, so if, coming from the first drive, if we can get that touchdown in, I think it's going to be great for us. Um, that's all I'd say about that. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the pack of the, the conference standings now, it's still a lot is up in the air. Uh, can you speak to just uh, trying to eliminate any pressure that might be there, knowing with a little margin for error that there is? I think the biggest way that we can eliminate the pressure is, is just focusing on the game at hand. And, and Wolf talks about it all the time, and it's one of our team goals is going 1-0 every week. And, um, you know, this, this week we have a home game, so we want to stay undefeated or, you know, be undefeated this week at home. Um, but just focusing on one game at a time and know that, if we take care of business this week and, and this day, every day, um, things will fall into place for us. Kurt, I know it's, it's, you want to take one game at a time, but is it difficult not to look to the next two weeks with two road games? And you know, it is at times, but I think that's, you know, where preparation and focus really, you know, you, you need to be prepared and you need to be focused every day when you go out there and go into meeting rooms. And, and, and that's one thing that's going to help us, you know, take the next step. Kurt, you said you want to establish a run, but you look there. Past defense has given up some pretty big plays too. Mm -hmm. Well, we're on first team, and, and with all the running backs and the great offensive line that we have, we're gonna you know try to push the issue, and we're gonna run the ball on the ground. Um, but we're gonna take some shots, and, and if we see some weaknesses and we see some areas that we can exploit, we're definitely going to, and we definitely have the receivers that are capable of doing that. Speak to homecoming and, and all the, the kind of special week that it is and that it will be on Saturday and it will be all week long. It's, it's going to be a great environment and there's going to be more people in town for it, um, more distractions. More, that means we just got to become more, that, more, more focused and, and more prepared this week. 
uh, for Saturday.